Hey guys, so I want to share with you my curly hair routine because I know I've been saying for a while that I was going to make a video on it and I haven't. Um, it has changed since then, so I'm going to give you my one now, my one before, and then some other um, good products to use in your hair if you are a curly girl. As we know, I love to um, give tips and information about wearing your hair natural, um, no relaxers, um, no heat. I do wear my hair straight. Um, as you guys know, you've seen it in my other videos. Um, it's hard for me to stay away from the flat iron, but I try to stay away for as long as possible. If you are trying to grow your hair out, you do want to stay away from the blow dryer and the flat iron and um, relaxers if you do get those. So here are some products that I recommend um, if you do want to start wearing your hair curly. So I have the Redken Curvaceous Cream Shampoo. Um, this is a sulfate-free shampoo, so if you do color your hair, um, it's safe for that. And it looks like that. Um, I got mine at Cosmo Prof. There's a lot of places that you can buy Redken, obviously. So that's the shampoo, and then along with the shampoo, I follow up with the um, conditioner. And the thing I like about the shampoo is it doesn't lather like your normal shampoo. It's creamy like a conditioner, as you can see. So um, it's going to make your hair soft, um, more manageable. And this is something, I mean, I don't recommend washing your hair every day, but if you are one of those people that like you have to wash your hair every day, this is something I would go with because it is creamy, it doesn't lather, so it's not going to strip the natural oils from your hair. So after I get out of the shower, um, I do not towel dry my hair, I just leave it wet because um, it's just easier for me to manage and comb through when it's still wet. So I use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. And this stuff is amazing. I don't know why it took me so long to get into it. Um, a long time ago, I had used their shampoo and conditioner and I hated it. So I was just like done with the company overall. And finally, I just came around and started using this. Love it. If you feel like your hair is dry and needs some protein, I would go with the It's a 10 um, Miracle Even Plus. This has keratin in it. So it's going to give you um, protein that you have lost. Um, to me, I mean, this isn't a fact, but, like, I can't use the keratin every day. If I use the keratin in my hair every day, it ends up making it dry because there's, like, too much protein. So, I mean, it all depends on your hair. Me, can't use it every day. The pink one, um, I can, so I recommend that. After I put in the leave-in conditioner, oh, with the leave-in conditioner, it's also, um, it serves as a detangler, so you can spray that in your hair, like, as soon as you're out of the shower, and then I use a wide-tooth comb. I got this from Sally's, so the reason I use a comb when I'm wearing my hair curly instead of a brush is when, first of all, they say you're not supposed to use a brush on curly hair at all, um, which I haven't had a problem with. I use the wet brush, which I talked about in previous videos. But um, when I use the comb opposed to a brush, my curls are a lot nicer, they're more manageable. I feel like a brush makes my curls frizzy, so I do not use a brush, I do use this. You can get any kind of wide tooth comb. I just like this one because I can hang it up right on my little hook and uh, it just works. I like it. <laughs> so after I put in the leave-in and comb my hair out, I put in the Redken Curvaceous Ring Light Cream. And this is... It's kind of like, it's not a lotion, it's kind of like jelly, but it doesn't make your hair hard. Um, it's very creamy and soft and manageable. Um, so I put one pump. One pump is enough for me. I feel like more than one pump would be too much because I do have thick hair, but it's not super long. I mean, I don't know, it's like medium. So one pump is enough for me. I start underneath and I rub it with my hands like this and then I just like spread my fingers apart and like comb through and put it all over and then I focus more around this area because that's where I get a lot of like poofiness and like wild curls so I like focus and just do that after I put that in I do the curvaceous um, full swirl and this is gonna help with like frizz um, you start at your roots and work your way to the bottom you can put it all over your head like 
some products you want to put from the middle down this you can start from the root down and um, that helps me with frizz I usually cannot wear my hair down with these products I absolutely 100% can wear my hair down um, I highly recommend buying them they make mini shampoos conditioners the ringlet and this they make mini ones now so you could always like you know get the small ones try them out see how you like them before buying the large ones but I um, I don't think you'll have an issue they also make small ones of the pink one they make it in this size and then they make one size smaller um, I think the smallest one of this is like $12 so you might as well buy this one because it's 18 and it's gonna last you a lot longer so some other products I have if you're more like on a budget and you don't want not saying that these products are super expensive but if like you really want to save a buck um here are some products that you can buy as well um that work just as nice i just i'm in love with these right now so another um little routine or combination you can do together is the it's a 10 leave-in conditioner and you're gonna you know when you get out of the shower spray your hair with it comb your hair out with a wide tooth comb and then you're gonna add the not your mother's kinky moves curl defining hair cream um this is infused with grape seed and jasmine it smells wonderful it smells like grapes so like can't go wrong with that um you're gonna put like about a dime size if not bigger um, in your hair. It depends on how much hair you have and how much product you like to put in. Everyone's curls are different um, so you may need a lot, you may need a little. You're gonna rub that in your hands, comb it through your hair and then you're gonna follow it up with the Garnier um, Curl Shaping Spray Gel and this will hold your curls right into place. Um, it does make your hair a little bit hard but you know you just gotta work it through and make sure you spray it like when you do a spray you like comb it out because sometimes it'll do like in one bunch and then you have like a stream of it like right in one spot so you have to like move it around a little bit and I forgot to mention I always put the one and only um, argan oil in my hair which I have mentioned in previous videos I wouldn't put that all over your hair it's gonna weigh it down uh, make it kind of greasy I focus more on my ends because my ends are a little bit more damaged than anything else because um, I did do some harmful chemical products or treatments, uh, the keratin treatment, years ago and I still have damage on the ends that has not been cut off yet. So I do focus on the ends with that. Um, another combination you can do is the It's a 10, spray that in, comb your hair out, um, add the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. You can buy this at Target. I'm pretty sure Ulta sells it as well. Um, so this is for thick curly hair. They make them for different types of hair, but if you have thick curly hair like I do, you're going to want to go with this one. This stuff smells awesome. After you put in that, you're going to put in the Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Gel Souffle. And this is like, it's kind of like um, jelly almost. And both of these products are not going to make your hair um, greasy. Um, you want to not put a lot of this in because it'll weigh it down and... Um, just be heavy and you won't get that nice curl. These are actually kind of expensive for being at Target. They're around like, I think I paid around like 12 or 15 dollars. I could be over exaggerating but I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for um, the products somewhere around there. Um, they make them for all types of hair so yeah I think I said that already. And then last but not least, um, I uh, to say. I have the TIGI um, Catwalk Curl Collection. Um, the Curls Rock. You can get this at Target. You can get it at Walmart. I'm pretty sure. Ulta. A bunch of different places you can grab this. Um, I'll put in the leave-in conditioner and then this by itself. Um, all of these have worked for me. It just depends on what kind of hair day I'm having. Like some days my curls are tame. And, you know, I like to switch up the product because I feel like my hair gets, like, sick of something and then I have to change it up. So, so if you are going to be making a trip to Target or anywhere, I highly recommend you buy these because summertime is coming. Um, flat ironing your hair in the summer can be rough because you get hot and sweaty and then you end up having to wash your hair um, 
right after you flat ironed it. So you might as well go natural in the summertime because you're gonna be swimming, you're gonna be on vacation, you're gonna be in the ocean. So learn to love your curly hair, start figuring out what works for you so that you can just get up and go and you know, put these products in your hair. Um, another line that I like is that Carol's Daughter. I have the um, Carol's Daughter Hair Milk, um, the leave-in moisturizer, so you'd wash your hair, comb it, get out of the shower. Instead of putting the It's a 10 in, you're gonna put in this leave-in conditioner instead. Instead of the It's a 10. Um, they make this in a kit. It comes with the leave-in, it comes with the co-wash that you wash your hair with, and it comes with the pudding. I do have the pudding, I don't know where it's at, but it's awesome. You put in the leave-in, put in the pudding. Really? I'm getting frustrated. You will put in the leave-in conditioner and then follow it up with the pudding, rub it in your hands, scrunch it in, and that stuff is awesome as well. I just wish I knew where it was. I wonder if I used it all. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that you guys like these products and try them out. Um, leave some comments down below if you have any products that you would like me to try and think that I would like. Um, follow me on Instagram, Amaris Brianna. Subscribe, like, um, I think that's it. All right, bye guys. Bye.